Welcome back, Mears. Uh, today I want to talk to you about feeder cities. Feeder cities, if you want uh, to make a lot of cash, some cash, and if you want to build fast, you need to build some feeder cities. I have two feeder cities, this is one of them, it's only a level 24. You don't want to advance them too far because they've only got one single purpose and that's to feed your capital. Think of it like Hunger Games. So in here I basically get it to this level and then just get it to mass produce goods so that you can do this. And all you're doing is just stockpiling cash, stockpiling goods here, they will only last on the trade depot for two days so you've got to push them through your capital as quickly as possible I'm only going on here because um, I'm, I'm uh, building up my region uh, special um, units that you can build uh, high capital units, they're worth doing because they, they uh, quite a lot of um, cash so I've purchased that. I do, don't link them to anything. Don't link them to friends. Don't link them to uh, yes, your, um, your teams. Sometimes they get raided. It's best to um, just keep them secret. And um, find, find a friend that has an old account, old Facebook account, something. And if they've got this, you can actually load it onto a separate device. They're worth watching. If you've got any more questions, just give me a... Just leave a... Um, question in the uh, comment box. I'll take you back to my capital. Um, in my capital I've got, I've managed to open up all the regions and my, uh, it gives you the luxury of building up some really cool areas. This is my last region, Frosty Ford, and um, this has basically taken me not quite a, uh, not quite 10 months to build. Uh, and you can build them pretty quick. Where, when I open up my regions, I take my my shops with me. You can see they're just they're just fully loaded to harvest, and that's the cool thing because you've got got uh, all this stuff coming in from your other regions and all your other um, feeder cities. When you go and select, boom, you get this, and none of it's cheating. None of the cheating is all legit, and you just you can just stockpile tons and tons of sin cash. So you're not you don't even want. And then the other thing is, just keep ahead of your building building platforms because mine comes in boom, just like that. Um, yeah, and it's quite nice to go through, and you can advance your cities really fast when you do this type of concept. So if you've got any questions, put them in the comment box. Feeder cities are worth, worth your way in gold, don't you? Um, use all your region, all your special region um, stuff. So yeah, this, this one here for fish market. Yeah, so I hope this helps. Um, I see there's heaps of uh, comments on Facebook that can ask you know, quick, quick ways to get cash. There's no quick way. There's no quick way. The only, the only, the biggest way to keep the regions up and running. Doesn't matter what region you have running. I'll take you to another region. It's my Cactus Canyon region. And it's sort of keep, it's sort of keeping a balancing act, day. Eh? But um, when you open up these. And you just you have to keep your uh, top end region markets open. So up here we've got this one and it's empty. See from and the cool thing is you can take you can keep your feeders to feed you specifics. So I've got one that specifically does the drill and the, um, the, the nails so that I can just open up any region I want and just go along. I've got I've got um, an update video there. I'm not going to update that one because now and then I wait for them to pop up here. I don't usually use these comms uh, only if I want something, you know, 
but I don't really because it just you'll find it chews up too much cash and you don't be in such a rush just get your populations up get your populations up so that you can um, so that you can get the tax from it and keep making your cities look cool yeah, so thanks for watching don't forget if you've got any questions pop them in the comment box